All right. Well, welcome everybody. I'm so glad that you're here. We're going to be talking about healthy support and stress management made simple. Uh, tonight's topic is going to come uh, right from our uh, health coaching curriculum. We're going to be talking about how to improve your support system to strengthen your resolve, strengthen your willpower, your thrill power, and your skill power. And we're going to give you some great tips on how to de-stress your life as well as how to create well-being. I'm joined here tonight by the infamous Jan Paxman. Jan's a nurse and a certified health coach and also one of my great friends. And she's also one of our leaders in our health coaching program as well as inside of our health challenges. And so you'll probably see the, the, the you can with Jan name somewhere inside of our Facebook groups or our health challenges. So Jan, welcome tonight. Thanks, Dave. I'm so excited to be here. Well, we've got people from all over that are joining us tonight. We've got people that are participating in our six-week health challenge, which we're in the final week of our health challenge. And we've also got people that just are on our health coaching program and maybe got invited by their health coach. And then we've got those people that are just joining us on Facebook. So um, we've got some great uh, in information to share with you tonight. We'd love for it to be interactive and so you know get your hands ready to communicate with us via the chat message and give us a you know amen or a hoorah or something or maybe give us an answer to a question or maybe give us a question because we'd love to keep it interactive. Um, as I said earlier all of our information tonight is going to come from our health coaching program that's led by uh, Dr. Wayne Scott Anderson who is the 10th physician board certified in critical care and uh, he created our health coaching program it's called Take Shape for Life, soon to be called Optavia here in the next uh, couple of months. We're changing our name to Optavia so we can go international. And uh, all of the resources that you see at the top of your screen are part of our health coaching curriculum. We provide these resources to our clients to teach them how to create health in their life. And Dr. Wayne Scott Anderson has been very transformational in the country. He's been one of the leaders in this emerging specialty called health and wellness coaching and Jan and I have been uh, part of that program not only on a personal level but we've also coached hundreds of other people and seen thousands of people's lives transformed so I think that you're going to gain some great value from tonight's resources. So Jan let's kick it off with a little bit of a survey. We're going to have people comment if you're watching on Facebook or if you are um, watching this on the live webinar we'd love to have you comment and just put in a um, on a scale of one to five five being I have a healthy support system. Everywhere I look, everywhere I go, I have people around me that are healthier than I am. And it's a great supportive system. If that was a five, you know, one was, I don't have very many healthy people around me. I don't have a good healthy support system. I'm really struggling with having people around me that are healthy and encouraging and supportive of my choices. Go ahead and throw in the chat message your answer. And uh, if you're in watching this on Facebook Live, you can throw a comment in the comments section. We'd love to hear your feedback. Jan, talk a bit, a little bit about the benefit of having a healthy support system as we take in some more answers from the participants. Okay, well, this is one of my favorite subjects, Dave, and I, I just feel like that as we learn these new habits of health and support, um, as, we, as we surround ourselves with support, it's just, a given that we're going to have a greater experience and a longer um, ability to maintain these habits. Um, I think of it, you know, you, you showed the slide of Dr. A's books earlier and, and reading those books and really immersing yourself in education and allowing yourself to practice those habits on a daily basis with others. It's just like going to school. You know, we surround ourselves with people and educational institutions. We learn material and we practice those things. And that's how we get expertise in areas, right? Same goes with creating a healthy lifestyle. It's, it's so valuable. It's totally necessary to be able to immerse ourselves in these things so that we will have lifelong lasting changes. Yeah, and Dr. Anderson talks about that inside of his book, and he actually is quoted saying, building a support system is the single most important thing you can do to incorporate and maintain the habits of health. As you can, you can see right in the very center of this triangle is this thing called support. And Jan, you and I have both seen people that have been spot on with their healthy eating, whether they've been inside of our health challenges or they've been doing our health coaching program. They are, you know, it is on like Donkey Kong with the healthy eating and then they're getting their exercise or they're being really active and they're sleeping really well. 
And then the challenge ends or the, there's not a support system in place and, you know, they're done with the, the short term journey and now they don't have those encouraging words or a place to plug in. And just talk a little bit more about the need for that ongoing support. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I know in my own life that has been um, so imperative. Um, and as I surround myself with people going that same direction, we just naturally help each other. And, and it becomes who we are. You know, it's no longer a battle inside of you. It just becomes who you are. The more you're around it, the more you're part of it, the more you support and help other people with it as well. Yeah. Well, we want to do a little interactive exercise. And Jan and I love when we get a chance to dialogue about this because most people um, haven't ever spent the time thinking about the five people that they spend the most time with and how those five people are impacting their health choices. So we want you to take just a moment, if you have a pen and paper right there, or if you can just think about it off the top of your head, who are the first five people that come to mind that you would say, these five people I spend the most time with? And be thinking about family members, friends, coworkers, things of that nature. Who are the first five people? And if you write down the first name of each one of those people, you can begin to think about their health habits, not necessarily their weight, but their health habits. Are they healthier than you or are they unhealthier than you? Are they a positive contributor to your healthy lifestyle or are they a negative? Do they constantly ask you to do things that are maybe not as healthy or are they not living that healthy lifestyle? Maybe they're not walking, maybe they're not going for exercise programs or they're not somebody that's you know, overly uh, healthy in terms of their eating or their stress habits. Or maybe their attitude is just kind of a drain. It's a more of a negative attitude. And um, if you begin to think about those five people that you spend the most time with and you identify whether they're positives or negatives, how many positives do you come up with out of five and how many negatives? Jan, I don't know about you when you first uh, kind of walk through this process, but you know, we all know about the power of association. We've heard it many times before, but oftentimes we've never actually done it and actually gone through the process and say, hey, who are those five people? And it's kind of an awakening. Yep, it is. And, you know, there's a study that was done that actually showed that we, we are kind of an average of the closest, the five closest people around us, that, that those, those habits rub off. We really do become. Yeah, there's actually a contagiousness to obesity. And so for people that are really struggling with their weight, you know, they can actually catch the virus of becoming more uh, overweight or obese just simply around the people that you're spending the most time with. And so that also works on the positive side though, right? So being a part of a health challenge, being a part of a healthy community, having a health coach, having a personal trainer, having friends that you go for walks with, or you do uh, hobbies or activities or people that are just positive. And that can come in a lot of different varieties, but I don't know how many of you came out with, you know, more positives than negatives, but typically it's somewhere between, you know, three minuses and two pluses, or it's three pluses and two minuses. That's typical of an average of the people that we spend the most time with. Um, but if you were to, to be a parent and your child came to you and said, I'm going to go hang out with some friends and Jan's got some kids, I got kids that are teenagers. And if our teenagers came to us and said, hey, there's five of us going and three of them, you know, they're kind of criminal. <laughs> they're not very good to be around in terms of their behavior habits. And two of them are really good, right? You, as a mother, what would you say to that child about those bad influences in their life? Well, I, you know, they can always be friends to them, but they don't need to hang out with them, right? right. <laughs> We want to be really careful about the habits that the people that we're around and the habits that they have. And it goes for everything. Um, you, you know, we don't want to be judgmental, but you have to make those, those choices for yourself. And so it's, um, it's important to model it and to also, you know, encourage and invite others to, to kind of come along and join you in the healthier choices that you're making. And, and I noticed there's some, you know, things going on in the chat over here and, Nancy Pettit mentioned that, you know, over time, her friends have just kind of evolved into healthier people. And I think that happens as you model it and as you stand out and make those choices, it gives other people permission almost to start making those changes as well. 
Yeah, one of the encouragements that I love to share with people um, that has helped me and it was told to me by my coach was um, the idea of proclaiming your, your values and, and your choices. Um, there's a great quote uh, by a man by the name of Jim Rohn who passed away a few years ago. And he said, if you fail to create your own plan, chances are you'll fall into somebody else's plan. And guess what they got planned for you? Not much. And if you just simply go to your friends who are maybe unhealthy and tell them your plans, tell them your goals. Um, you know, sometimes it may come with some resistance. There may be some mocking by a friend or family member if they've seen you that have tried to lose weight before. And so some people you may not want to bring that up to, but I found that if I told other people where I wanted to go to eat, or if I told other people what my goals were and that I wanted to be active, oftentimes that elicited a positive response so that when plans came around to be going out to eat, they would ask me, hey, is that okay? And they'd ask for my permission versus telling me this is where we're at. And, uh, and that was something that was just creating that respect or that boundary if I had kind of created a value that was different than who I was prior to making some healthy choices. You know, we all need more help, Jan. Um, you know, out of Americans, there's 311 million and 70% of us are not at the healthiest weight we could be. And then there's a whole bunch of other people that are maybe at a healthy body weight, but they're not exercising, sleeping well, managing stress well. So it's not just about, you know, asking people to lose weight with you. If your goal is to lose weight, but somebody else's goal is to eat healthier, but they don't really want to lose weight, then that's okay. Um, talk a little bit more, Jan, about, you know, this idea of synergy when two people are brought together and one puts their hand out and what that dynamic that's created, regardless of what their goals are. Well, I can tell you a personal experience. Um, I've, I've always struggled in the area of getting my exercise going correctly. You know, I, I always know, I know it's important. I, I want to, I just haven't been able to get it going for myself. And then I met a friend who is into biking. And she just said, you should come, you should get a bike, you should come with me. And I was like, yeah, I wanted to for so long. Well, one day my husband found this great deal on a bike and he brought it home and she's like, let's go, let's go. And she got me out there because she invited me, pulled me out of my own way, got me going. Now I'm, I'm registered to ride a hundred mile bike ride with her a week from Saturday. And I have been out training. In fact, um, 30 minutes ago, I came in all sweaty from being out on my bike, hurrying and got ready for this call. But I'm telling you, it has become like an addiction. I love it, but I never would have done it had she not said, come on, let's go and let's do it together. And, um, and sometimes we think we have to be loners and do it ourselves or we can't ever work it out with another person. But, you know, anytime you link arms with someone else, there's just that, that extra energy and that empowerment. Um, and and it's, it's so much more fun if you allow yourself to just get into it. So I totally believe in it, Dave. That's great. All of you participants, come real close. You don't have to ride a bike 100 miles if you tell your friends what's going on. <laughs> Jan's got some crazy friends. No, I'm just kidding. But that's the kind of cool stuff that can happen. And, and at my story, Jan, is that I've been, I lost 100 pounds seven years ago. And our, I used our health coaching program and a friend um, basically challenged me to join him on the journey. He had lost 50 pounds. And so he reached out to his hand and told me, what he was doing. And he just simply said, you know, hey, if you want to do it, I would be happy to help you to do it. And that's all. That's how I got started seven years ago for me. And, uh, and then after I got some help, I turned around and started helping some other people to get connected, family members. My dad lost 47 pounds. Uh, that was four and a half years ago. Uh, good friends have gotten healthier. And some of those friends have now become great partners with me. Actually, one of the larger uh, challenge team leaders, Mark Blankespor and I, we have been uh, doing a workout two, three times a week where, you know, we were all, we we're doing a little exercise, playing some sports, but we weren't doing strength and resistance training because neither one of us didn't, we just didn't want to do it. And we finally came back from being inspired to do something and we said, hey, let's do it together. So for the last, you know, 12 weeks or so, we have been doing strength and resistance training. And I can tell you, it is not something I want to do, but because I'm doing it with a friend, it makes it more fun. And we laugh and we give each other a high five at the end of the deal. And, uh, you know, we don't like doing it necessarily, but we like having done it. So, you know, maybe that's what you need as you transition to this next stage and into the month of June. Maybe there's something that you can invite a friend to. Maybe it's the idea of connecting them to the coach that invited you into the challenge or that has invited you into this webinar. 
Um, we have lots of different places where you can plug in and encourage somebody, and you don't have to necessarily be the coach. You can just be an encourager. You can be a connector. And, you know, there's nothing better than becoming a part of somebody else's story. You know, Jan was a part of somebody's story. I was a part of somebody else's story. And now I've become part of other people's story, getting healthier. And that's where the whole concept of paying it forward becomes part of your own support system. Mm -hmm. Some of the people that I have invited into my healthy lifestyle journey to help myself have also helped themselves. And then they decided to help other people. And that's created kind of a ripple effect. And so, you know, Jan, Dr. Anderson talks about in his books, the concept of the three steps to mastery, you know, where you're first studying and then you're doing it and then you're modeling it for other people. Talk about the impact that's had on you. Well, yeah, just like I mentioned before, you know, when you, you, um, you, you've got to immerse yourself in the information. It, people who come and, and say they're ready, they want to change their lifestyle, but they just really don't want to take any time to learn anything or practice anything different than what they've already been doing. They just want a, a quick fix, a diet, and I just want to lose the weight or whatever it may be. They're just setting themselves up for failure. Truly, if, we, if we're willing to study the information and absorb it in and just enjoy it because it's delightful information, and then as we live it, then we're learning along the way and then we're modeling for other people of, of what we're doing. And then as they come alongside us and we can help somebody else, that's really the, the step, you know, even in, even in like AA, you know, the last step in that treatment is to sponsor someone and help someone else along. That's what really helps to seal the deal for me personally is helping other people because I know then I'm not going to go backward helping somebody else go forward. I mean, it, it's like out of integrity for me. So I, I get to live those, those habits and model it. Not that I'm perfect, but that, we, you know, it just helps so much if you're helping someone else along for you to stay right in that pocket too. Yeah. And, you know, I have found personally that, you know, the word study kind of looks like homework. Maybe that's a little too much for some people. But being a part of a health challenge is studying because you're reading daily tips and being a part of a, our health coaching program where you have a book and workbook and you have webinars like these and you have conference calls or support resources and Facebook groups that you can participate in. All of those contribute to the concept of studying. And if you study health, you're not going to get unhealthier, right? I mean, if you want to learn to become healthy, you'd study the the concept of health. If you'd want to become wealthier financially, you would study finances, right? You'd study wealth mm -hmm. and you'd study wealthy people just like you would study healthy people. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, if you study more, you'll learn more. And if you do more, you'll become more. And if you model more, you'll actually achieve more. And that's where it comes full circle to the point where now you've been awakened to the concept of what this whole, con what this whole idea of creating a healthier you means. And you'll be inspired to go out there and do something else that inspires you, whether that's to choose a new goal and to study more about that. I mean, every year I've tried to challenge myself to try to do something new and to study a little bit more. And I'm, I'm still just an amateur on health but I've learned so much and now I know so much about my health journey that I can not only get healthier, but I can help other people to do it. And so our con uh, comprehensive support system includes Dr. A's Habits of Health book. We've got a health coach and we've got all of our internet, internet based tools like our health challenges, our apps and our online webinars. And then we've got this dynamic community of people. If you're not familiar with this, we would encourage you to talk to the person that invited you into this health challenge because when you put these four components together, you have an amazing vehicle that can help you to achieve nearly any health goal that you put in front of yourself. This idea of having a comprehensive system, not just a diet, a way to manipulate the macronutrients or a way to manipulate the physical body, but something that really addresses the whole you, the whole complete you, and uh, Jan, I don't know if there's anything from a medical perspective or a health perspective that you could say to those people that are wondering, you know, what do the doctors say about this? Does this program, you know, work for everybody? What if I have this, you know, issue or, or I am on this medication? What would you tell people that are maybe concerned about the medical aspects? 
Well, it is a medically sound program. It is based on correct principles and it's based on blood sugar balancing. And it is, um, I was so impressed with it. That's what drew, drew me to it. Um, and I have seen people with many different um, medical diagnoses who felt like that was their lot in life, that they would always be dealing with those disease states and that they would never be able to have the quality of life that they deserved or wanted. And as we've worked with their physician, you know, help their physician understand what this program is and that physician works with that person to, um, you know, adjust medications as we go along, miracles have happened. I'm a diabetic educator and I've been able to see, especially diabetics improve with this, people coming off, you know, many different medications with their doctor interacting as we go along and it's been fantastic. So anyone out there who thinks that they can't improve their health, they need to think again. Yeah, over 80 million Americans are uh, diabetic or pre-diabetic or suffering from pre-diabetes or uh, type two diabetes or type one diabetes. That's too many people mm -hmm. to be struggling. So whether it's you or whether it's a friend or a family member that might need to be connected to this program, we'd encourage you to refer them to the person that invited you and, uh, and get them some support resources to basically understand what this program has to offer. One of the things that attracted me to the program was this idea of the trilogy of optimal health and how each and every one of these areas can affect the others. So as you look at this trilogy, think about, you know, kind of where you are in terms of a healthy body. If 10 was a optimal score, what score would you give yourself in the area of physical health? And then mental health, you could see some of the, the bullet points or the bold statements that are there, you know, no stress, time for family, well, that would be a 10. Where are you at on that scale of one to 10? And then how about healthy finances? And, you know, you may not think that your finances dictate your physical health, but, you know, when you don't have enough money at the end of the month or when you don't have enough money to do the things that you want to do in life, whether that be to give or to send your kids to college without, you know, debt or have any kind of uh, significant immediate income that you want to use towards an experience for your family or your grandchildren, that can sometimes start to dictate some of the stress and some of the impacts of what you're doing for healthy choices for eating and exercise. Uh, Jan, anything else that you want to share on this idea of the trilogy of optimal health? It is all connected. And, you know, when I began this, this journey for myself, I, I, was, um, I was a nurse. I had been a nurse for a long time, <laughs> but somehow missed that connection of, you know, all of those things interact and they impact us so much. And as I learned the connection between them all and the effect it had on me physically and saw that I could change that and improve it and actually change my stars, it was like I felt like I'd cracked the code. It was so exciting to me. So um, do you want me just to share a little bit about that, Dave? Yeah, would you mind just sharing a little bit more about your story and all these uh, great pictures we've got on the screen? <laughs> okay, yeah, so um, we have a, a blended family. We have eight children all together. Um, not all of them are pictured right there. Um, but because of, the, because of the health that I've been able to create for myself and then helping other people, um, it has blessed us so much in those three areas of healthy body, healthy mind, and the financial end of it to, to be able to achieve a balance that I didn't think was possible. And um, that picture was actually taken in France. One of my, my children was able to do a church mission there. And I wanted so much to be able to go back and see his, his area where he served. Actually, we had another one that, that served in Germany too. And so we took the whole family over and was able to see both of those areas and some of the good that they did in the world. And that was a dream of mine that I never would have been able to accomplish had I not been able to, to tap into the health and be able to, to serve other people to be able to create health in their lives as well. And um, those memories that are made, you can't put a price tag on those. That was just a, a special, special time. Um, we've always wanted to have a little bit of land and be able to have our family learn how to work and learn how to, to really get out and, and serve and do more. And we were able to purchase a little, little house with an acre of land and we've got a couple of horses on it and some chickens. And, and that's just a, um, you know, those are things that, that I've always wanted to do, but I felt that they were without outside of my reach. There was no way. Um, 
but that is not true. Anything is possible. And this program is a vehicle for you to create health and, and be um, able to create whatever you want in any of those three areas. Um, so it's been an amazing ride, Dave. It really has. And I'd encourage anyone out there who hasn't felt that they've been able to create the things that they want to in life to, to find out, learn about it, explore it. There's no there's no pressure at all. It's just something that's there for us. And if we embrace it, then it's, it's a wonderful thing. You bet. It's been a great, a great gift to me as well. And, you know, so many of our uh, participants tonight are, you know, somewhere in this continuum uh, that we would call the success fulfillment continuum. And, you know, if everybody would look at the screen and, and kind of think about, you know, where are you at in this continuum? Are you thriving in a fulfilled and successful life with abundance? Are you down in the bottom right-hand corner where you're maybe financially successful, career, vocational success abounds, but maybe you're worn out, you're stressed, um, but you're maybe, maybe even struggling with a little bit of the depression aspects of the emotional lack of purpose or things of that nature. Or you may be in the upper left-hand corner where you may be very content, fulfilled, but failing in some areas of your life. And that may be physically, mentally, or financially. Or maybe you're in the bottom left-hand quadrant and things are really tough right now. Regardless of where you are, you know, we can just tell you that a lot of us have been where you're at. And, you know, a lot of times where we make our health choices comes back to the fact that we've been blasted. Or at some level, we're dealing with some of these problems that are creating other problems. Maybe because you know, you, you think that you, you know, have an eating problem and that you just love food too much, but maybe it's something more than that. Maybe it's something where it's out of boredom or loneliness or maybe just being sad. And that's become part of the reason of why you're eating or why you're drinking too much. We're not here to diagnose anybody, but we're here to tell you that we have um, tools, support resources to help everybody. And if you need professional help, then we would encourage you to go talk to somebody because we know that everybody can't um, solve their problems by themselves. Oftentimes it needs help and it needs maybe some coaching and some encouragement and some perspective, or maybe it needs more advanced help. So if you're struggling with stressful situations, know that we can give you some remedies. We can help you to resolve some of the stress that's in your life and help you to manage it better. But if there's a problem behind a problem, it's like having a medication for heartburn but the heartburn's being caused by the food that you're eating. The heartburn's not the problem, it's the food that's causing the heartburn. So, you know, let us give you these stress relief tips from our health coaching program, but just know that if you're not dealing with the problem behind the problem, these stress relief tips are short-term solutions and remedies. They're not gonna give you the long-term success that you need. You may need to put yourself into a different kind of environment, a different kind of vehicle for progress and success. One of them being de-stress your job. You know, if you're in a position right now where it's stressful, you know, Jan was a nurse. Uh, I worked in a high stress uh, real estate and mortgage business for many years and didn't sleep very well and had a lot of concerns of people that I was going to let down if I didn't do certain things right. So, you know, de-stressing my job meant that I had to make some changes. I had to draw some boundaries. I had to start letting go of some things. Jan, was there anything that you, you did that helped you to uh, remove some of the stress in your world? Um, yes, you know, I, I've changed up a lot of the things that I used to do and I'm still working at it. Um, I, like I mentioned earlier, I'm getting the exercise component in there, which really helps. Those endorphins just really help you feel better, boost your, boost your mood. I'm working on healthy sleep. I surely drink more water, which I think helps decrease stress too in my life. I just need to take a minute and drink and breathe. Another thing is um, the way I think, you know, noticing my thoughts a lot during the day, stepping back and observing those thoughts and thinking, do these thoughts serve me? Am I, am I constantly focusing on negative things or am I keeping my thought, my thoughts uh, on a positive um, wavelength? Um, you know, what are my reactions to certain circumstances? All of those things are, are part of what I'm doing to help, um, you know, balance out and alleviate some of the stress in my life. Yeah. You know, socializing, getting out with people and riding bike is, is something that you've picked up. Uh, mm -hmm. My son's 13 and he picked up um, frizz, uh, disc golf. I'm not <laughs> a very good golfer and I'm not a very good person, a very good person that throws the Frisbee. 
But disc golf is a very cool way to get out into nature and to walk around. Even if you can't throw a Frisbee straight, I, I can't either. But just <laughs> having something to do to take you out into the outdoors and maybe have a friend or family member to, you know, go along with. That's a great little thing that's been helpful for me to just see the green trees and you know, sometimes we're so busy looking at our phones or looking at computers, you know, here we sit on a computer right now, but, you know, getting outdoors and enjoying that, whether it's a massage on a physical side, that's another thing that people have expressed a lot of gratitude on, or just, you know, good laughter, whether that's a good movie or, you know, something that's maybe comedic on the internet, mm-hmm. um, or just having good times with friends and picking up the phone and calling a friend and, and sharing a good laugh from old times. Focusing on the positives, Jan mentioned that, just you know, may, having more of a, a mindfulness about things. We use this thing called Stop, Challenge, and Choose that Dr. Anderson teaches us. Uh, deep breathing is another one. Yeah, there's the, uh, the deep breathing view from Jan. Um, but yeah, all those things you know, can help you to take the next step. And if you need more resources on this, talk to the person that invited you. We've got lots of helpful stress reduction uh, tips but we also would encourage you to make sure that you're not just focusing in on remedies, but that you're identifying what that trigger is and what is the thing that's causing the stress before you start trying to mess with remedies. Cause it's kind of like, you know, going on a diet. If you haven't really understood that it's not about the weight, but about the mentality about health, that's the problem. Um, that's what's going to really lead you to success. So These are the four parts of our program. If you'd love to learn more about it, or if you'd like to plug in at a deeper level and you're already involved, just talk to the person that invited you and we'll use our stop challenge and choose to wrap up tonight. Um, We encourage you to talk to the coach that invited you or the coach of your team in the challenge and schedule a health coaching session, evaluate your goals and clarify what it is that you'd like to achieve and then expand your support system. Begin to go to those five people that you identified as the ones that you spend the most time with and have a conversation with them. Ask them about their health goals. Share your health goals or your values about what you're trying to accomplish and invite them to join in with you. Connect them to the coach that you're working with or invite them into the next challenge. All of those things will help you to decrease your stress. And as we wrap up tonight, Jan, a special uh, special opportunity for everybody here tonight that's stuck around to the end. Next Tuesday, at the same time, 7.30 Central Time, 5.30 Pacific, we're going to be doing a one-hour special live simulcast, and it's going to be a Q&A with Dr. Ray. And if you would like to learn more about creating optimal health, Dr. Anderson's going to be fielding questions from participants, and uh, you can get the link from your coach and get more information on that as you see fit. So, Jan, thanks for joining me tonight. I hope everybody enjoyed these healthy support and stress management tips made simple. And uh, we look forward to seeing you all very soon. And uh, contact the person that invited you for next steps. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, Dave. Goodbye. Good night.